Baharan de la sort. Rado a corner, the old Baharan, and does the Ligitia dash and she gain a lady. You know, we want to give you a overview of what's happening out there. Um, you know, we just recently got the CARES Act funding, $600 million. $8 billion was allocated to 574 tribes in all 50 states all across the country. 60% of that $8 billion were finally released last week. And $600 million was our share of that aid. 40% is still lingering out there. We had to take the Treasury, Department of Treasury, the federal government to task by um, filing in the courts to make sure that those dollars get out to Indian country. And I want to say thank you to all the other tribes who uh, filed a lawsuit against uh, Treasury because those dollars are allocated for U.S. citizens. And I've been saying all along that those monies are for, it's not a handout, it's not a freebie. It's to help United States citizens throughout the country get the, the needed supplies and the food to, you know, combat this virus, to overcome this virus, or to just stay home. And that money never came to Indian country. And so we had to file a lawsuit against Treasury, and the judge supported us. And they said, you know, told Treasury you need to get the money out to the tribes. And we, re we just got that uh, a couple weeks ago. And you know, now we're crazy. utilizing pay my rent for the rest of for the year. You know, you can't for, do that. For um, what we need, the immediate needs. So there are still 40% of those dollars that have yet to go out to Native American communities throughout the country. And so we had a meeting with Treasury yesterday finding out more criteria. So, you know, we, when we were doing the 60%, we had to give a lot of information to Treasury, the size of our population, the land base, how much dollars are being uh, uh, lost because of uh, the economic impact. And then, you know, with the 40%, they're asking almost the same questions again. And so it, it kind of gets frustrating. Of course, we have to continue to abide by those regulations. But uh, I think, uh, you know, people up in Washington, D.C. are set to, you know, give the money to their uh, Alaska Native corporations, these for-profit corporations, which is, we don't support. You know, land-wise, you know how big Alaska is, right? It's almost half the size of the United States of America. If it's going to be land size, that's a lot of money that's going to go to Alaska Native uh, corporations, these for-profit corporations. But the intent, the legislative intent, when our congressional delegations, O'Halloran, uh, our Ben Ray Lujan, uh, and Deb Holland, uh, and many others, our congressional delegation fought very hard to include that $8 uh, billion for tribes. And our senators, Senator McSally, Senator Heinrich, Senator Udall, uh, Senator Sinema, uh, all helping out. No, let's not forget the Utah congressional delegation helped each other out to put this package together so we can get monies to the tribes. And we appreciate them. And we want to say thank you to all those uh, congressional leaders, lawmakers, for including that. And when they were having that debate, uh, they, were, they intended, when they approved this, that it would go to tribal governments. And that's what we're all, many of us, a super majority of the tribes throughout the country are steadfast in saying that, yes, it's supposed to go to the tribal people, not, not for profit, not the shareholders, not Alaska Native corporations, but for our, our Navajo people. And so that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen, 40 percent. We don't know how much we're going to get. We might get zero because it all goes up to Alaska. Who knows? but uh, we are um, fighting for our share of resources. And it's not handouts. It's our share of aid 
to help us fight this pandemic. You know, the United States citizens uh, seven, six, seven weeks ago already started using, utilizing these dollars to help in their emergency. But tribes had to wait until last week to get their money, their share. And so some of you that are viewing have said, well, why is it taking so long? We just didn't have the resources, ladies and gentlemen. We had to dig in our own pocket to bring $4 million out so that we can help get the needed personal protection equipment to our first responders. And there's a shortage throughout the country of PPEs. I want to say thank